Hello everybody and welcome. Today we are building a new cinder farm. It still gives us all the same drops as usual, which is mostly coal, XP and blaze rods, but there are a few notable differences. Right, number one, this one is smaller. Number two, this one has got automatic loot collection inside, which is always a bonus. And thirdly, probably most importantly, this one is a hardcore safe farm for all you hardcore players out there, as these cinders are no longer able to attack us. Splendid! Let me show you guys how this guy works, and then we get to building it. Our little cinnamon buns have arrived. So, they will periodically make their way forward and up, trying to escape through these eyes, and they'll get stuck here in our killing room. And that is simply when we step forward and give them the old wacky whack through here. Some of them go up there faster than others for some reason. It's all to do with their pathing, but eventually they'll all end up there. These are our hoppers, so simply four hoppers, not too heavy on the iron. And then through here, all our drops go in here, which is coal, blaze rods, hard crystals, the ember charge, which is fire for fire pets, you know, leveling pets and crafted equipment parts. And also the cinder blade, which is, once again, for a weapon. Also sets them on fire, as you can see. So just like this, lovely stuff. XP on through, drops go in there. Lovely stuff. Now... Let me tear half of this guy away and show you guys how we build this. And this is what the bare bones kind of look like. Dimension wise, including the walls, it is 6 wide, 6 high and 6 blocks deep. Which is quite nice and symmetrical. From the front part here, this is where you'll add your inventory. So I'm just using crates, our hoppers will go there. So from here it should be... One, two, three, four blocks deep. Let me switch on night vision. And then we have our back wall, like so. So from here it should be one, two, three, two blocks high. And then on this fourth block here, you go up another two blocks. So one, two, like so. So we have this two deep here. And then this goes deep. It should be five blocks, like so. These three by four blocks here, we go ahead and take these out. So... One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, there we go. And then we go down another layer. So two blocks deep. This is where our fire blocks will be, if you will. <laughs> and it needs to be four by three so that we have 12. So you can either use netherrack, which is the most common one because, you know, it burns indefinitely. Or as an alternative, you guys can use blocks of charcoal. Charcoal also uh, burns indefinitely so it's quite nice as an alternative if you're not quite at the stage where you have got netherrack yet and you can simply make charcoal blocks out of charcoal which is simply wooden logs in a furnace cool so that is our little burning zone fire will be here and then we'll have two air blocks above sweet now from here we just remove this layer like so Add a hopper, shift right click, hopper in there, and a hopper into this hopper there. And same with this inventory. Shift right click, shift right click. Perfect. And that should then look like so. From here, I simply add the eyes. These aren't essential, it's just decorative really. But these are ashen crystals. As for the rest of this template, these blocks are basalt bricks. And these are just simply lush stone bricks as well. To get this color paddle, uh, pad palette that I'm dealing with. <laughs> All right. From here, we need to add some walls or a fence. Um, let me add the lush wall here. So this is where the important bit happens. So right with this eyes in this corner, right here, wall, 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 like so. Same here, wall, wall, wall. The reason for this is walls and fences. If you guys didn't know. Um, they have a kind of a slab half block above, so fences and so on, you can't jump, uh, jump over them because there's kind of an invisible slab, if you will. So this wall stops entities from crossing through this half block here, but the cinders obviously don't detect that. So we leave this airspace valid, so they try and pass through here, 
But this actually makes this a half block wide, so they can't escape through here. Very important. Fence or walls, that is what we use. And then as for the rest, we patch this up like so. Voila. And on the front here, we add glass, any type of glass really. But I use light gray is my glass of choice. So let me add these in here. Glass there, glass there. Leave this one empty, glass here, glass there. Directly underneath this, add yourself a trapdoor there, and a trapdoor there. And we simply open those for now, because we still need to ignite the blocks afterwards. As for this part here, you just add yourself any slab of your choice. Slab there, slab there, and then we are basically done. Go ahead and remove this for now. And we simply go in here and we set our 12 blocks on fire. And with night vision disabled, we have this sexy little farm right here. And if we stand here in a moment, we will see our little customers arriving in the moment. And there we go. Just got two, and as you can see, they are trying to pass through here, which they can't, because that is actually only half um, half a block uh, big, if you will. But their AI doesn't pick that up, so they always go towards these blocks here, trying to escape. And that is where we profit. Voila. XP is out, drop to go in there, and yes, by the way... Um, probably don't need to mention this, but make sure you have some kind of education or um, adept at least on here to get the increased XP and some kind of looting if you are after the blaze rods. And there we go. You are now the proud owner of a brand new cinder farm. Excellent. If you guys found this useful or entertaining, consider giving me a follow on YouTube or Twitch. The links will of course be in the video description. Lovely stuff. And with all that done, this is me Zergus saying, have yourselves an awesome day, happy RL crafting, and goodbye! <laughs>